That was a long-winded uh, operation there. Normally we're done about 4.45. I think we've got a radio uh, show that's in session right now that Coach Peterson is starting at, but I, we can't go without saying a couple of things. One, Amy Burgess and Greg Gillum uh, really are the are the behind-the-scenes part of this whole operation. They do a tremendous job making sure it's done well, it's done right. There's great customer service when it comes to kids visiting campus, kids visiting games, uh, official weekends, you know, all those things. Uh, their staff does an unbelievable job. I was going to call them up for a couple comments, but we're going too long here. Uh, let me open it up quick because I've got to get on the radio in about uh, seven minutes here. And we've got our letter jacket ceremony in about 30 minutes. So, yes, sir. Coach, kind of summarized the defensive unit. How would you kind of characterize the whole class? Um, you know, balance. We've got a little bit of everything, which we like to do. Uh, we've got guys that are versatile, so I think it's balanced and versatile. You know, as was pointed out in all the discussions, guys have done a lot of different things. There has to be a little bit of projection, you know, in, in talking about, uh, you know, what you need and so forth. But there are guys that, you know, we feel very good about who they are. We feel good about the skills that they have. We feel very good about the fact that they have great interest in Ohio State. Um, and they meshed well with the people that were here. That's really what it's all about. And more than one of the coaches talked about that, is that they felt at home with the other teammates. And they know it's not going to be easy. They know it's going to be a struggle at times. They know it's, uh, there's always a bullseye on Ohio State and all the rest. But I think the versatility, the balance, uh, just the attitude, uh, like everything about it, it's, it's a good-sized group. And uh, you know, we think they're going to be a good one. Well, you know, in April, May, and June, when you get a good start, you feel wonderful about that. And we, you know, you can't discount that. And then when you get in the last, last two weeks of January and, and you get a good finish, you feel good about that. In both cases, we didn't get everyone. Um, but a lot of times when you don't get someone, it opens up the opportunity and the availability for a space for someone else. And you end up with, boy, are we lucky we had, you know, space for that person. You know, so... Um, you know, I love the beginning and I love the end and, and uh, what's going to be fun is watching these kids grow and watching them progress toward a degree and seeing the experiences they have and, and uh, you know, just a chance for them to write more history. You said 23 There's a possibility. You know, I think everyone is aware that, you know, we had uh, something pop up yesterday we didn't know much about. We can't talk about it because the only thing we're allowed to talk about today is kids who have signed letters with us. So. You know, we don't know, you know what the situation is, and, and so, uh, you know, it could be larger, it might not. Do you have any class for Ohio State standards 23 to be a big class for any Big Ten school? Uh, the SEC, this would be a small class. I'm curious to, to, to hear when you come down with oversight, a lot of SEC schools would take 30 plus kids. Is that a, a, a disadvantage for Big Ten schools? Here well, the thing I think you have to credit our staff with and our academic support services with, and everyone else is that we don't have a whole bunch of high attrition and so when we bring 20 guys you know there may be a guy or two you know not be uh, with that group as they eventually finish uh, but we don't we don't have huge attrition and so if you don't have huge attrition you're not going to have you know four times 30 is 120 you know so we're not we're not going to have you know that type of thing <laughs> I think repetitions at that position are, are important, and Nick talked a little bit about separating uh, Braxton and, and uh, Cardell, you know, from a year standpoint. Because how do you get good if, if a guy gets seven reps in a practice? You know, so I think the fact that these guys are going to get good reps, uh, you know, the evolution, seeing how you know who steps to the front. There's going to be days where one person does, and then maybe days where another doesn't. Uh, but uh, you know, I think repetitions is, is huge and they're going to have some opportunities. How do I see it coming out? I have no idea. Well, coming in early and getting those reps, huge. Because, you know, you get not, not just scrimmage reps uh, or spring game reps, which 
people will see at the outset, but I'm talking about every every day in practice and every individual drill and every perimeter drill and every drill against throwing one on one and so you know it's you can't beat experience. Well, he's a Now the thing that I've been impressed is everyone I've talked to talks about what kind of person Coach Drayton is, and that's where it starts. Uh, he's from Ohio. He's excited to be here. He's got family right here. Uh, it it makes it even more special. Coaches spend a lot of hours, and you know if your family's right nearby, that sure makes it a little bit easier, uh, you know, to take care of things. But uh, I know he's excited about transitioning. As you know, he worked with receivers in the pros, and he worked with inside receivers. Uh, throughout his whole career uh, coaching uh, now in the SEC, but now he's going to work with receivers all over the place. And uh, I know he looks at that professionally as, as a heck of an advancement. And, and so I think it's all good, and we're excited that he's here, and, and uh, we're excited that these 23 guys are here, and uh, we're excited we kept you an hour and 17 minutes. I'm sorry we don't normally go this long, but uh, I've got to run down the hallway to a radio show. Uh, do you want these guys available for one-on-ones? Okay? All right, these guys have got to go to dinner eventually, so they got to study. Thank you much.